Hey yo, uh, back with another video. What if Deku was a fire bender? So that's what we're gonna do for this video, of course. Now, uh, sorry guys. Now what we're gonna do for this video is we're going to make it to where, how do I put this? Um. Oh wait, nope, wrong thing. Um, before we get in like a minute in or whatever, let me, let me, let me run through some stuff real quick. So if you don't want to hear all this, skip to like maybe two minutes. You might miss a little bit, but skip about two minutes. Anyways, um, for the people that do forget, you know, like it, if you already know how my content be, um, if y'all do like to really like the channel, wanted to support it and all that good shit, go down in the description, check out my cash app, all that good stuff. If you want to chill and just talk to your boy, go to my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram will be down there because um, if y'all, because I'm going to start trying to post on my Instagram for y'all to um, have. So we have a place where y'all can reach me one. And also I could throw up a picture of something and be like, hey, guys, what what if sounds good? And I have a place that's reliable and I can always come back to to see, you know, what uh, what people are thinking and what people want. So, you know, let's do it like that. Um, anyways, now with all that out of the way, let's do this. What if Deku had a, uh, what, what if Deku was a firebender? Now, this Deku is going to be a lot different than most Dekus because of some factors. When he was around three, we'll say three or something like that, they were on the beach, him, his mom, and then Deku went out really far in the sea, and then there was a turtle, and the turtle was like, state your reasoning or do you want to be a hero it's just let's just say he's like i want to be a hero and he's been saying this and whatever and the turtles are like seeing this dude and being like hey you want to you want power don't you and deku's like yeah once i get my quirk i'm going to be really strong which ignore the fact that deku um is he scared of him so what we'll say is deku drowned he was drowning and then the turtle came to him so it's almost like he's a dream it's almost like a dream-like state all right so that's gonna be um the situation right so with Deku kind of being you know in that sense of um after he like had this dream say yes I want to be a hero I want to be able to protect people no matter what and all sorts of other stuff right um we're gonna say you know after that incident or whatever Deku's about we could give him, we'll say he's five, and then um, he's having this dream, and the turtle's there, but this time the turtle's on fire. He said, I've given you the power of fire, and Deku's like, oh, for real? He's like, yes, this may alter your personality, but remember, fire is what you make of it. Remember that. And Deku's like, all right, and then eventually, as Deku's asleep, he feels all this warmth, this heat, this inferno, this, this, um sun-like power is just flowing through him it's just flowing through him and then he feels like in a burst it's almost like he had a um flame awakening if you may and then after he had this air quote flame awakening he's like the whole house is on fire everyone in the house died except Deku and the only person in the house was his mom so his mom died but Deku didn't care people died all the time it's not uncommon for people to, you know, awaken the quirk and something really bad happen. Hold up. <sighs> now, before, which most people won't be upset because they're like, all right, so Deku's not a bitch. Perfect. But to justify it, when the turtle did give him the ability to control fire and, you know, like that type of stuff. And like when, you know, Deku was, um given this and then on top of his flame like awakening i'm gonna say it helped him mature a little bit faster and see things more logically okay so he's basically just like ye. he's like oh all right people are like damn dog his mom's dead you don't seem to be showing any signs of emotion blah 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 they're gonna send him to the system but like he's like nah, i'm good so he lives on the streets for a good little bit but not too much not too long because what he ended up doing was he ended up using his quirk religiously right He'll be out on the street doing fire tricks, 
Um, he'll be out doing uh, different little demonstrations. He would uh, help people. Hey, you need your cat. I'm going to go get your cat. Now, before, um, now for me to give, give you your cat, I need this amount of money. So eventually he became known as your neighborhood fireman. All right. And he basically was just chilling. Like he was just vibing. So eventually after doing that for, we could say six months up into a year, give or take, um, of being on the streets and just saving up enough money for a place. He eventually got a place, but this place isn't nothing good, you know? This this place isn't nothing fancy, all right? It's got cockroaches, all right? It's a, in a bad neighborhood, okay? So, it's not, it's not like he's uh, living the best life per se. But since, you know, he has somewhere to put his head at, um, throughout the day, instead of inherently going to school, he's traveling and he's, um, he's training and he's doing all sorts of stuff. Like he, he's working on his quirk because his quirk is the only thing that's been keeping him alive. So his relationship with flames and his respect for heat is a little bit different than the average bear. On top of this, he has a good bit of fire resistance and, um, fire res uh, immunity to an extent. It's not absolute. Um, due to some fact is he, when he was, um, like when he first was on his own, when he was trying to use, learn his quirk, he burnt himself and he said never again. So throughout, you know, the times or whatever, he technically be burning his skin. And I know it sounds a little weird, but he technically burns the surrounding air right around him. So it's almost like the flames are touching him, but they aren't touching him. And eventually got to the point where he's able to have the flames on him. And then the flames protrude out of his body, eventually to the point where he's able to keep his body at a warm temperature without suffering any side effects. OK. Now, I can't I'm going to I'm going to put this in here, but um, I'm just going to I think she was royal, not royal. I think she was in like a family or I don't know what living situation is. So this might be subject to change because I got to double check back on that. But we're going to go and say Deku was out on one of his like adventures, basically trying to get some money. And since he's not doing school because he doesn't really need to do school. I mean, it, he needs to do school. But like at the same time, he's very smart. And this was always going to be the case. So since he was very smart, he figured out, you know, he was able to like buy books and do basic mathematics. He was able to see the answers on the back and he was able to get basic concepts of most stuff. He also um, divulged himself into quirk history, um, also divulged himself in uh, how the society views quirks. He um, realizes that he has a good quirk in the view of society, but if he was born with a mutation quirk, so he, this deck who's going to be very adept on how, um, it's going to be, he's going to be very in-depth on how the society view quirks and how they go about that type of stuff, right? So keep that in mind. On top of all this information, he's out and about, and we're just gonna say he's he stumbles upon a girl with thing like um teeth and yellow like eyes, and he stumbles upon her one day while you know he's uh basically at the playground because he he plays every so often with the kids. He he has to turn down the heat of his quirk because like it was at at first it was kind of hard for him to control, but eventually he turns it down a little bit. And he starts playing with the kids or whatever for the brief moment of time. But he sees one girl all alone, almost seeming like she's a little upset. And he's like, hey, what's um, what's wrong with you? And she's like, nobody wants to play with me because they say I'm weird. And he's like, what do you mean? And <laughs> Toga says, because I think the bird's pretty. And then Deku looks down and sees the birds all um all bloody and butted and battered. He's like, oh, the bird looks so pretty, but nobody gets it. And then she points over to a guy and just he's like, um, he he's he's pretty cute, or like you, you know how kids talk, or he's like pretty handsome or something to that phone. So I thought it would be a nice present for me to give him or some shit to that effect, right? 
And she tried to give it to him, but they just said, no, um, I'm weird. I'm a poopy face or something, something, you know, something kid like, okay. And Deku was like, yeah, nah. He smacks the bird out of her hand, burns the bird. It's like, damn, that little nigga got rolled up. GG's, RIP, drop out, get your GED. And he looked at Toka and was like, come, come with me. And she's like, okay. And he grabs her hand or whatever. And then he's like, hey, all right. All right, all right, look, look. <laughs> this deck was a lot more mature and older than his age, okay? And he's like, all right, look. Look at your girl. You can't do that, okay? Okay? People will look at you weird, all right? Blah, blah, blah. He's trying to explain it to her and all sorts of stuff like that, right? And with that being said, he's, like, trying to tell her, like, hey, you can't, you can't be doing that type of stuff. People are going to look at you type, some type of way. And she's like, but why? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong. And he's like, no, no, there's a there's a lot, a lot wrong. So much things are wrong with this sentence and statement. And she's she's dumbfounded and like big body confused on like what he means, right? And he's like, okay, so let me get this straight. You have a weird sensation on blood, this, that, and that, right? And he's like, she's like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty and you know, with the little creepy grin that she, she had when she was a kid. He's like, all right, bet. I'll be right back. All you hear is mini flush. Everyone, ah, my eyes, my eyes. Yay, yo, hey, yo. And this is all you hear in the background, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah boy, I'm fast as fuck. Slice, 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 slice. He basically, it's like a slither. With someone's blood, like discreetly, of course. After he cuts them, he like seals it back up. Don't ask well why he carries a knife with him, because it's not like he lives in a bad neighborhood or anything. Anyways, he comes back and says, "Here, look this," and she's like, she gets it down low. No, 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 the knife. It's like, look the knife. She's like, all right. She licks the knife, and immediately as she like swallows the blood or whatever, she immediately transforms into um. The, the kid that he's, he got that from, he's like, I see, I see. You have one of those weird quirks. He's like, all right. He's like, hey. He, like, grabs the burgers. He's like, hey, you want to be friends? And she's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, you're probably going to go down a really bad patch. Remember, this goes back to Deku. Um, Deku looking up all sorts of stuff about um quirks and how society views it and stuff, right? So what Deku does is, like, he, like, burns her. And she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, like, basically, he burns her, but puts, like, a little crest, uh, a little crest mark. And then, like, he infuses it with a good bit of heat um, throughout her whole body, right? And so what this does is it makes it to where he's able to know where she's at. It's almost like a tracker without being a tracker, right? And so he's like, hey, if you ever need me, all right, you just, you just press like this, okay? Like, you're trying to check your pulse, Check my pulse. He's like, God damn it. I forgot. I'm supposed to be stupid at this age. Uh, do like this. Like you're trying to be Spider-Man. Oh, okay. God damn it. Fuck. Uh, pain. Pain. He's like, all right. I got to go work now. <laughs> Meanwhile, basically like catch you later. And then afterwards... Uh, uh, Toka's mom is like, Toka, uh, where, where was you? What was you doing all the way out here? Oh, nothing. And then Deku flies off and continues doing his thing. Now we're going to say, if I remember correctly, boy, Deku, like, what, seven? Yeah, like seven right now. So we're going to say he's about a clean, like, nine. We're about to end this part. The clean nine or something, right? He he moves up in life a little bit, right? He got a little bit more money, okay? Instead of living in roach-infested hotels, right, right, right? Not hotels, just roach-infested houses and stuff, right? Or a house. I'm going to say it was more like apartments since there was a lot of people. Or like really small duplexes, okay? Deck was able to, you know, save up a little more money and get more of a cheaper house on more of the cheaper side okay so it's not roach fested so he's not the lowest at the low but he's not like he, he's not at the highest of broke niggas all right if that makes any sense okay and with that being said 
he's about to go do his daily training because his whole day is he works he works in the morning he uh he relaxes a little bit um during the evening and gets his food ready then he uh, then during the nighttime when his uh flames are air quote not the hottest um he uh trains them to make them hotter so when it is hot he's able to use them better um uh, and then after he's done with all that, he eats and then he goes to sleep and he repeats the cycle. This way he maximizes it because he has everything broken down. And literally during the lazy grace period, after he works or does his street performance, uh, help people with mundane tasks and all that type of stuff, right? He um he basically lounges around. He He might take a shower. He might not. It just depends on the episode. He lavages around for a little while, doesn't literally doesn't do none besides eat potato chips and all sorts of stuff. And we'll say he eats like uh uh dried bananas or something. Like like he's healthy with the sauce, okay? And then at the end of the day, he goes out and he starts busting some training, okay? Um uh, he now he switches that, you know, periodically, right? Um he might reverse it to where he does uh he does nothing in the morning. He um he does nothing in the morning or he trains in the morning. Basically he switched the O's out. They're always in rotation throughout if you want something new. Because at night there's a lot of things he can do. He can guide people somewhere because it's dark out. Um he can what be guard somewhere. Now you might be asking how's Deku doing all this and he's just a kid. Simple. He's very intelligent. He learned something a really long time ago from being in those, like, that bad environment, bad area. He was like, hey, yo, how much is it for this thing? And he's like, oh, no, to get, I'll just say an e-cigarette. To get an e-cigarette, you got to be 21, man. And he's like, oh, okay. How much is it again, though? I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's a twelve ninety nine. He's like, I'll give you 25. He's like... 30, 35, I'm got to do. He said, hmm, I like the way you think, kid. He said, who am I, kid, bro? My money's green just like the rest of them. This is what he, he's just bluffing at this point because he, he doesn't know if this is going to work. And he's like, all right, bet. Then at that moment, Deku realized he's going to have to hustle because if he wants something, he has to have more money than what is required just to be justified for it. And also, he probably might have lied about his age. Um, I mean, after the fact, like, let's say when he gets like an actual home, he might have to tweak his age a little bit and just say he's really short for his age. OK, he's a late bloomer. Right. But when Deku gets done doing what Deku does and being a real nigga, he realizes something. He's getting called by Toka. Now, what else? What could she want? I haven't seen her in years. And that's where we're going to leave this part off. I hope you like, sub, subscribe, to all that good stuff. We do this shit, all right? And if you want to help your boy out, help me make more content. Help me be able to buy games to do reviews on. Um, Help me basically get banned so I can do more YouTube and make this a full-time giggity gig. Um, Please, by all means, go down to the description and donate whatever you can. Penny, dollar, doesn't matter. And if that's too much, you don't got the fans, you don't got the, the money, the green, the cheddar, the bread, you don't got none of that, cool. Just watch the ads all the way through. That helps too. It helps with the watch time. It helps with a lot of stuff. Because if people are like, oh, YouTube's like, oh, people watch this, send this out in the recommended section. So, either way, you can support your boy. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you later.